<clears throat> Hello, good morning. Um, when I post this, it's not the morning, but when I'm filming this voiceover, it is the morning. Today, I am painting a fish. It's it's exactly what it looks like. Um, most of it's in real time, and it went. It was a really easy fish to do. I don't know. Um, going in with some acrylic red backdrop, kind of doing like a weird little funky fish. So I'm doing it after the Atlantic Roker. The inspiration, I guess, was this is a Christmas gift for my grandfather, and he is the first one to take ever take me fishing, and the first fish we caught together was a croaker, not an Atlantic croaker, but just a croaker. And the, uh, with, with the fish, it was the fish, first fish, bleh. First fish he ever taught me how to clean. So I saw the Atlantic croaker and it's a little bit prettier than the ones we caught. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that. And it's a close enough remembrance of all that he's taught me and really good memories and stuff when he would have his boat. So I I did I, I did a, I did I did a fish. So basically, I wanted to do this video in real time, just kind of show kind of what goes into the prog process about how long this would take. Um, I cut out a lot of in-between footage of basically just doing the exact same thing over and over again, or just footage that I unfortunately moved the painting and it was completely out of frame because I wasn't paying attention to the frame. I was just trying to get this uh, get this painting done and make it look good for my grandfather. So yeah, I am... Originally, I started adding like all these little textures and whatnot to kind of try and make it a little bit more realistic. Um, I wasn't going for realism, but I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be just like a flat painting, if that makes sense. So I was using this like flat brush and I used the flat brush for actually mostly everything besides like really small details or stuff in the eyes. So I'm actually kind of impressed that I was able to do that with the flat brush and I like the kind of textured effect that it gave. Um, so I want to try and do a piece using only like a flathead brush and then make very distinct brush marks, but I'm not there yet, but th that's, that's what I want to do. By the time this is uploaded, it'll be about a month out from Valentine's Day and I want to come out with like a cute Valentine's Day themed sticker to kind of go with my six stickers this year um new year's goal and i also want to do like a special valentine's day video but i don't actually know what i want the video to be on if that makes sense i i know i want like valentine's day themed i want it to be an extra video but i don't know what to do it about um last year i did a video making valentine's day cards and I want to do something like Valentine's Day themed, but I don't know what I want to do yet. And so I'm kind of brainstorming. So if you have any requests, just, you know, comment them below. That'd be great because I don't know what I want to do for Valentine's Day as far as a video. I don't know yet. I want to do like some art thing, but I don't know exactly what I plan on doing. And plus Valentine's Day, I leave for home the day after Valentine's Day. So I go back to the South. February 15th, which, um, so I live in Boston now and I am going back to visit my family and my home and everything for about a week. So I'm excited to see my friends and family that I moved away from and then I'll be there for about a week and then come back home to Boston. So I guess the South is not my home anymore, but I grew up in Louisiana, so I kind of figure it's always, I think I will always call it home, just unintentionally, even if I li don't live there or haven't lived there for years. It's it's where I grew up, I consider it home, and especially with my family and friends still being there, um, it I still, a piece of me still considers it home, even though my close, like my children and everything are obviously with me, so... Here is home to, I don't know, I'm kind of going on a tangent about home, um, but y you get what I mean. I, if you've ever moved before, you kind of know that you um, unintentionally call it the last place you're at, you still, you still call it home, whether you're there or not. Anyway, speaking of holidays, I am doing a voice recording of this. I'm recording my 
voice for this video um, on January 4th. So the new year's just passed and I actually have a lot of not exactly resolutions, just goals of things I want to either complete or start this year. I talked about them a little bit in my last video. I might make kind of like a full video on all of my art goals, but not art goals is I'm going back to college and I am excited yet nervous about that. Um, I think I'm going to teach science middle school education, which I heard um, middle school teachers have it really hard sometimes, and there's different struggles in each one. And also, sorry about all the craziness in the background, I am filming on my living room couch because my one-year-old is sick, and she is also now just starting to walk, so I need to kind of have 24-7 eyes on her. So we're, we're sitting in the living room, and she's throwing toys everywhere because she is slightly destructive and it's hilarious. Also, I know this voiceover is a little bit um, everywhere, but that is because I cannot focus. I am so tired. Uh, yeah, like I said, my daughter's been sick, but she's also teething. We have like five teeth coming in right now. Her entire top row of teeth are coming in and she also has a little cold and we're about to have our first ever Northeast winter storm. Um, since we moved here less than a year ago, it's our first winter here and we're having our first winter storm here and I'm terrified and I don't like I'm not terrified. I'm like excited because I want to build a snowman. But at the same time, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, obviously, you're not supposed to drive, right? So are you just like stuck at home? Is it like a hurricane in that way? I don't know what I'm doing. I understand hurricanes. I understand tornadoes. I don't understand snow at all. Anything that starts with S. I haven't done snowing, sledding, skiing, snowboarding, none of that. I don't, it's all new to me and it is very foreign to me. Um, the most amount of snow I have ever seen was when I was in Tennessee when I was 12 and that would be literally nothing compared to what they have here. Um, so yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I want to have a little snowball fight though. Uh, it's cool being in the Northeast, like from the South, because snow is like, you get the magical winter feeling of snow like that kids get. And I'm very excited to just, you know, um, my brother-in-law, he's younger. He's about middle school age. So I, um, I'm excited to have snowball fights with him and also just do like skiing and sledding with my older brothers in law, brother-in-laws. And bring the girls, like, sledding and pull them on a sled. Like, I'm just very excited for, like, all winter things and ice skating, all of it. Um, they have a little pond, so I'm excited to just get ice skating. But at the same time, I don't have ice skates. So I'll have to get around to that because I feel like the amount of stuff I want to do, if I were to rent skates specifically, I would lose money because I plan on skating a lot. But at the same time, I have no idea how much ice skates cost. I'm thinking in my head $100, but I'm sure they're way more than that. Um, I Yeah, like I said, I know nothing about snow or any icy sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm just, I have childlike wonder for the, the snow and everything, which is a very cool... Thing to have as an adult when the magic of a lot of things is gone it's nice to bring it back for some things like snow um so anyway i started going in with this painting with the background and i love this blue color on top of the red this was so satisfying tell me that's not like really satisfying to watch um i love the way the blue looks and the little red outline and i just think the texture is really cool um and this background literally took so long to do. It took like 30 minutes to do this background just because I was like mixing and it was like slow to get in all the little crevices and everything. So yeah, I cut out most of most of that um, because I and most of it was off frame. So this I had to zoom in just so you could see this little bit because I was halfway off frame. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I don't know. I also added afterwards that you don't see on camera. I added some like iridescent paint to kind of mimic scales and you can see it here with the flash. It's so the painting I have to put the the flash on to see the iridescent part, but it's also like prettier without the flash. Like the blue looks better without the flash and the light directly on it. 
it's more saturated, like the blue and everything. It looks less patchy. But overall, I think it's a really good piece. I like it. I like the little iridescent scales. Um, and I like the way it looks, despite the patchiness. So thank you.